Hey Questers, uh, excuse the traffic noise, but we are in downtown Fuquay and tomorrow is one of the Celebrate Downtown Fuquay events. So they're setting up kind of a kids carnival over there. And speaking of kids, Brooke and Jake are with me today. They got their first four report cards and did very well. So before we check out the carnival setup, we're actually gonna head up to Chocolate Fix, which is open for another hour and uh, get them a reward for doing well in their first quarter at school. Let's go. All right, we're actually coming up on Chocolate Fix. Um, outside in the parking lot here, they actually have a few tents already set up and they'll actually close down this entire street all the way down uh, to the Fainting Goat where the carnival area is. So this entire block will be blocked off. They're gonna have like BMX bikers and all kinds of cool events happening, all kinds of vendors, even a beer garden. <laughs> so we're really excited about tomorrow, but for right now, let's get some chocolate. They actually have selections in baskets, so you can grab a small bag and kind of mix and match and fill up for $6.99 per pound. Not bad if you want a nice variety, all kinds of stuff from the fruity sweet to the chocolatey to caramels. The kids are going nuts. The kids just got excited because it's Halloween, they found gummy eyeballs gummy brains, gummy teeth, spectacular gummy shapes, gummy chicken feet. <laughs> One of the popular items in here is the chocolate covered potato chips. They're not bad, honestly. <laughs> Creamsicle gummy bears. Oh my god, I want to get these. You want to get those? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Get Brooke's this overwhelmed. Something else. Okay. Because I want candy. This is because I haven't had one in a long time. <laughs> they have rows and rows. Who <laughs> has the Spencers? <laughs> a poor one. Very nice. They're sugar free, and in the case, they have all their dipped truffles and such. I really like, I'll see if I can find it. They have a maple cream. Oh, there it is. Those are my favorites. We just left Chocolate Fix. We stocked up. The kids got everything from a Pez dispenser, what, lollipop rings, a bunch of lollipops, and about a pound of assorted candy. So hopefully we can make that last at least a week or so. Perfect timing to stock up on candy right before Halloween, right? All right, let's go check out the carnival area. We're coming up on the carnival area, it's right next to Fainting Goat Brewery, right across from Mason Jar uh, Restaurant. Ooh, Mel's Minis. It's a local food truck, really good. Highly recommend checking it out. Is at Fain and Go tonight, sweet. We're in the middle of the carnival area right now. Uh, this year is something new I hadn't seen before. They have kind of a kid's playhouse here. So there's some stuff to go through, big slide in the back. The kids are really looking forward to that this year. There's strawberry kind of twirling, almost uh, like teacups. There's flying saucers that go around. Everything goes around here. And then also the swings that swing you out wide and pick up a lot of speed. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, the kids are highly looking forward to it. They'll be face painting all kinds of vendors. So we'll explore it much more tomorrow. So let's go to tomorrow right now. Is that cool, and we're back the next day. It is filling in absolutely in here. And we got a rock wall added too. That's pretty cool. So we had about 35 degree drop in weather uh, between yesterday afternoon and this morning. So everyone's bundled up in their jackets, staying warm. And the kids are about to go have some fun. Let's get to it.
That's pretty neat. They have children's axe throwing. Now, I remember seeing bull riding, but uh, this one's new. Robotic shark doo 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 doo. Robotic shark doo 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 doo. Go, Jake! The kids have found the, the Lagoon of Doom. Just like a uh, crazy bounce house. Oh, you're rolling on the log, I see. And if you fall, the gators get you. All right, Brooke and Jake are doing it. The Lagoon of Doom. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> They're not brother or sister or anything. <laughs> oh, brick wood! Stopped in the middle to get a quick coffee on a cold day. Now the day has officially started. Here's one of the side streets with quite a few vendors set up. We'll take a look at a few of them. Free pumpkin painting. Come pick out a pumpkin and find your paints. And get to it. And they're actually doing free face painting as well. Down here on the Depot Street area, they actually have a chili cook-off today. Local businesses uh, and really any team can create their own chili recipe, put it in the contest, and it'll get judged at the end of the day. You can also buy tickets to have samples. Tickets are $5. I assume that gives you enough to taste each uh, sample of chili from all the vendors here. It's another long street of vendors. It's McGruff. He solved all the crimes. Now he's just relaxing his day off. Just to give you a good overall view, here's the beer garden entrance. One of the beer garden entrances with the stage. The band's starting to play. The first side street went down is down that way. This is the main street that's now closed down. The carnival's behind all that in the, in the uh, field back there. Then you got the whole street all the way down. Another side street of vendors, another side street of the chili cook-off, the BMX guys at the end. And it's starting to fill in already, and it's not even near noon yet. We're starting in the beer garden now. Um, there's Moonrunner's food truck, actually really good items they have here. We have a vineyard. Fane and Goat Brewing Company, Aviator, Mason Jar Lager Company, Vicious Fishes, maybe Oakland Springs over there too. There's beignets, which we're about to get. Still a little early for the beer to start flowing, but we'll be out later today. So the great part of the beer garden is you can grab a beer, grab some food. There's also Lily's Kitchen over there, food truck, and the main stage is right here. I came over to take a look at the menu at Lily's Kitchen. It's like a nice variety of all uh, kinds of Mexican. Now I'm coming over to Moon Runners to take a look at their menu.
We're in line for beignets. Here are our beignets from Mrs. A. Beignets. We also got some Nutella dip and some Hershey's chocolate fudge dip. Breakfast of champions, right guys? The beignets are very hot. I stole one from the kids. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Oh my God. Hot. I hear it's hot. So fluffy. Oh, so fluffy. It's like eating a little cloud. Everything is in full effect now. Everyone's come out. It's just a little past lunchtime. The band's bumping. The beer garden's full. Now it's a celebration. The kids and I decided we're gonna try the pita food truck. We'll see. Jake's getting shawarma. Me too. All right, Brookie, what'd you get? Corn dog. She's happy with her Kool-Aid lips. Big lemonade. There's Jake's garlic chicken shawarma. Looks actually really good. So I'm going for the Moonrunners food truck, but I also got a beer from Oakland Springs while I wait. It's pretty good. I'm going for the bacon wrapped mozzarella on a stick. Oversized mozzarella block generously wrapped in our chef's choice of jalapeno, bacon, served with wasabi, cucumber, and dinner. $7. I'm excited. Alright, so everybody calm down. But this is a giant wide a block of mozzarella wrapped in bacon, deep fried. It's been nice knowing you. I know it's kind of loud, but here we go. How can that be bad? I think I just lost three years off my life. Worth it. It came with a uh, Cuban was cucumber wasabi, that's what it is. Cucumber wasabi dip. Some of the stores along Main Street are putting out some of their goods and having sales. 